I've touched on a lot of subjects about Ocarina of Time, probably an inappropriate amount, but one thing I haven't talked much about is music in the Ocarina of Time, or Zelda games in general. Zelda music is absolutely terrific. It always has the perfect beats to set the background for each moment of the game. The welcoming adventure of the Hyrule Field theme. You know you're about to explore a mysterious place with the Forest Temple theme, and you better be on alert and change your undies when you hear a redid in the graveyard. And this is just the Ocarina of Time. The other Zelda games nail it too. But I'll focus on one theme for today, which is probably the most well-regarded theme in Ocarina of Time, and maybe even in all the Zelda games. Everyone loves the Gerudo Valley theme. Oh, if you don't know it, you can hear it in the background in this video. It is a super good theme, and I thought it'd be fun to talk about why does everyone love the Gerudo Valley theme. If you don't love it, feel free to skip this video. Feel free to watch like a two-hour Let's Play or Call of Duty or something, because clearly you don't appreciate good shit. But let's answer why this music is so beloved. First off, listen to it. It's a really good song, especially for a video game too, like they should be focused more on the gameplay and not on the songs, but damn they did this tune well. Granted, if you're a Call of Duty game, you focus on neither, but you know, they got their own problems. And like, think about a Zelda game, it's not like it's supposed to be like a super good like level of the latest pop song thing, where someone with good and possibly fake looks relies on autotune to make their song become bigger than it possibly should. Now this is just a 90s video game producing a great beat. I'm not a music expert either. In fact, I kind of hated those classes in school. So maybe it's best I spend more time on the other two points I have for this video as to why the song's beloved. This first point is the main one. I mean, a good theme needs to have good music, obviously. But there are more perspectives to break down about the Gerudo Valley theme. All of the childhood takes place on the right side of the map. Even as an adult, you only do the Lake Hylia on the left side of the map. So unless you took a wrong turn running around Hyrule Field, which based on how much of y'all suck donkey shit at driving and managing directions, is quite possible. The first time you enter Gerudo Valley is near the end of the game. And at that point, you've already explored a very epic world. Like, clue you in, if you haven't played this game and somehow made it this far into the video, think of like the epicness of a Call of Duty game, and then like the complete opposite of that. That's the level of epicness for this game. That is how amazing this world is. But you also know there's a little left to explore, just this over here, so you wonder what's in store for you. And as long as you come here during the day, you are introduced to this. Like, you go to the valley, a bonus jumps over the broken bridge, which I have absolutely no idea how you can clear, especially when you can't even jump over this. I mean, come on now, horse. You also free all those carpenters who got arrested for being a male in an all-female fortress. Like, I'm not sure if they thought they were going to a brothel or something with all females, but instead they got more of a BDSM experience without much of the pleasure. It just feels like you're approaching an amazing part of the game that you haven't explored yet, and all throughout welcoming you to this area is this theme going on in the background. Like, it's just terrific. And you keep going in this amazing level that you realize is just here and just get ready to enjoy this tune in the background. Yet yeah, a big part to any good theme music, it, it better have a good level that goes with it. I mean, we play games more for the gameplay and stuff, so you need the good gameplay to have good other elements. And Gerudo Desert does bring it. It brings it like the wind of a jet engine brings it. You get another stealth mission, a better one than the Incompton Guards at Hyrule Castle. I even confirmed that with like a 5 minute analysis and... It also makes me realize I really do talk about random parts of this game. It's a well-constructed fortress, and it's a fun labyrinth to sneak around. And you follow that up with the mystery of crossing the desert. And you are awarded with what might be the most secluded part of this game. The Spirit Temple. The final temple in this game. At every step of the way, this music is playing. I just think this entire stretch is terrific, which further helps why this theme is loved. I think those are some solid reasons why this theme is good. I even gave more than just it's a good theme for reasons, which is honestly overkill. I, all you have to really say is that first point, and that's kind of it. And I'll say too, everyone's favorite track can vary in a game. Like, I enjoy the next part of the level, the Spirit Temple's theme maybe more, and also the Forest Temple theme's top tier. But this theme is awesome as well, and I understand why it gets the well-deserved praise. And while I'm on it, speaking of Gerudo Desert and the Spirit Temple, I'm gonna actually jump over to Tears of the Kingdom real quick. Uh, don't, no spoilers, you can click away if you want to. But they actually brought the Spirit Temple back, which is super cool. And then you actually don't really have a temple there, it's actually just kinda go down, it's a Rock'em Sock'em fight, which... I don't know. Kinda sad there wasn't more of a dungeon there. I still spend way too much time playing Tears of the Kingdom. 